वेलकम टू वन केमिस्ट्री दिस इज थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव केमिस्ट्री सीरीज डेली ओन क्वेश्चन फॉर यू हियर टू डिफरेंट कीटोन्स आर गिवन वन हीटोन हैज सिक्स रिलेशनशिप मेथिल ग्रुप अनदर हीटोन हैज सिन रिलेशनशिप विथ मेथिल ग्रुप हियर स्टील केमिस्ट्री स्पेसिफाइड सो शुड रिलेट द मेथिल ग्रुप यू हैव टू फाइंड विच हीटोन इज मोस्ट स्टेबल ए द पी आर क्यू Here the answer lies in the steric effect. It is difficult to imagine the molecule if you draw in the Fischer form. You have to draw the conformation position, which is both anti and sin position. If you look at it, the back side carbon is carbonyl, so no issues. But you have methyl issue there. The methyl is there; it's very steric between them. So methyl wants to be away from there to reduce the steric effect. So anti position, which is P, is more stable when compared to Q. Here, why it is interesting? Why the question is important? Because small difference in the stability dictate the reactivity. Here, the concept you have to learn here is anti conformation is more stable than sin conformation. It can lead to the chemical reactivity. That's all from this video. Thanks for watching.